If Welcome you like Learn my dad's videos, in please subscribe to QA Insights channel. We are going to see about Groovy operators in JMeter. In last video, we have seen about how to define string, how to print the string to the console and to the log viewer. Now we will see about Groovy operators in JMeter. There are different types of operators available in Groovy. We are not going to cover everything, but let us cover the important and subset of the operators such as arithmetic, relational, logical, bitwise and regular expression. First we will see about arithmetic. As you see in the screen, arithmetic operators will help you to perform the mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. And also you can perform the post increment, pre increment and you can perform the binary operators like plus equals, minus equals, etc. Just like any other language or Java or C, you can perform the mathematical operations in Groovy. Next, we will see about relational operators where you will be able to compare two, two variables like uh, less than or greater than or uh, equals, etc. Assert keyword will help you to get the output of the particular uh, statement. Uh, if it is uh, passing, then it will not throw any error. And if there is a failure, it will throw the exception in the console. And next, you will see the logical operators where you will be able to perform the operations on the booleans. So here we are performing the uh, not, or, and, and. So logical not has the higher priority than the logical and. Logical and has the higher priority than the logical or. And if you uncomment uh, the line assert false, then it will throw the exception because that particular line is not uh, true. So then it will throw the error. Next, we will see the bitwise operators where you will be able to perform the operations on the uh, byte. So here uh, we are uh, doing addition on the uh, byte 15 plus 6, which will uh, yield the value uh, 21. And we are asserting the variables using the AND, OR and NOT operators. Now let us see about regular expression. Equals tilde is the regular expression operator in Groovy, which will help you to find the substring and you can do some operations on the string. So here we are just validating whether the string j meter has the string meter or not and whether it is starting with j character or whether after j is there any other character or not or ending with r character using the dollar symbol and we have a pattern to identify the order id and we have the negation of the regular expression. Now let us see the quick demo of all these operators in the JMeter test plan. This is my simple JMeter test plan which has all the operators. This script is available in GitHub repository. Please check it out. Now let us begin performing the arithmetic operators. Before that, let me bring up the console here and let us put it here on the left side and let me increase the font size. And on the right side, we have the uh, JMeter. So now, I am going to perform the arithmetic operators on the two variables a and b and here you can see the assert keyword whether it, it will validate whether the a whether is equals to 11 or not. If there is a mismatch then it will throw the error. So now let me click on this run button and if you see the output in the console uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and etc. So this is how you will get the output in the console. So you can also perform the binary operators. Uh, you can do it yourself. Now let me disable this and enable the relational operators. So here we are performing the comparison operators on the two variables a and b. And uh, in some places I am asserting the value. So let me run this. Now you don't get any error because all the assertion has been passed. But now if I enable the line number five, a equals b, no. 10 is equal not equals 6 so it will fail when you run the script it will automatically give you the exception so here a is 10 b is 6 but the operator equals which is giving the output as false so that is why you are getting the exception this exception you can also see in the log viewer if you click on this top right icon exclamatory icon you can see the log so now let me comment this line number 5 and disable this sampler and enable the next sampler where we are performing the operators on the uh, boolean. So this is the uh, operator uh, not and this one for or this one is for and. So now if you run this you don't get any error because everything is passed here. 
but now if I uncomment the line number 9 which will throw the error in the console so now let me turn it back now let me disable this and enable the next uh, sampler where we are performing the operations on the uh, bitwise operators so here we are declaring the variable uh, a which is equivalent of 15 and b is equivalent of 6 and we are doing the operator plus now this will print the value 21 in the console and here, here also we are performing the and or not uh, exclusive or etc so all these operators uh, also it will work in groovy now let me enable the uh, regular expression operator as you know we are uh, performing the regular expression operator on the two string j meter whether it contains the string meter or not so using the equals tilde you can perform the regular expression operator so this one caret symbol it is the start of the character and dollar symbol line number four is the end of the character so whether it will check for the end of character is r or not and the start of the character j or not so if there is a match then it will pass the particular statement if there is no match then it will throw the exception and the star means uh, one or more character any character basically so this also will pass line number five we are uh, checking the pattern whether the order id uh, whether the order id 1001 uh, whether the pattern is matched or not here and the line number six it looks for the four digit order id and the line number eight uh, we are using the negation here so not anything here it will pass so now if you run this particular uh, script it will throw the error because this particular line number will fail because uh, it is not true that is why it is failing so whatever you perform uh, very typical regular expression operators you can work here if you have a doubt then definitely there are a lot of online testers available which will be very helpful i am not an expert in regular expression extractor or regular expression uh, writing the uh, statements usually i go to regex uh, tester in the online then i just uh, formulate based on my requirements so that's the guess on my side if you have any questions please let me know please join q insights community and thanks for watching this video have a good day if you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.